Hey guys, today is a massive day for me. Today it is the day of the Dubai Chanel show and I am so excited. This is my first ever Chanel show and I am just so grateful to have been invited. I feel like I don't belong there. Obviously I do because I'm invited. So <laughs> I'm so nervous guys. I'm actually attending this event alone, which is a big deal for me. Those who have been following me for a while, you'll know I have really bad anxiety and going anywhere alone is just a pain for me. It's not like something's gonna happen. I don't feel like, you know, I'm gonna get kidnapped or whatever. I just, I can't explain the anxiety I have whenever I'm alone. It's just, it's bad. Anyways, um, there were two showings. There was one in the morning, well, the afternoon, around 2, 3 p.m. And then there's one now at 7 p.m. And then at 8 p.m. there is the Chanel party. And then in a few days, well, actually tomorrow, then there's a preview, a collection preview. It's a full Chanel week. And then on Thursday, there is the current collection that we're watching preview. I'm confused. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But I'm very excited. This is my first ever Chanel show and like major fashion show. I'm not one who attends like fashion weeks. It's not really something I love. It's not something I really care about too much, if I'm honest. Like, I don't really care about fashion week. I'll see the pictures. I'm not expecting to sit front row. <laughs> I probably won't be. In fact, I don't actually have my invite. I didn't get my hard copy invite today, but they've sent me, they did like QR codes and there's like a Chanel app. So my QR code, my details are all on that app. And for those of you that know, there was a Chanel Dubai collection, which came out 2014, 2015. It was the Chanel Metier Dubai collection or whatever it was. I wasn't invited to that because I wasn't really a big Chanel buyer. I've actually been invited as a client and not an influencer. I swear PRs here hate me. I don't know why, like you're missing out. I'm doing this for free. In fact, no, I'm paying to do this. <laughs> okay, embarrassing. I didn't get to attend that show. There was one special piece that I wanted from that show and I managed to get it just in time for this show and I'm so glad I managed to find it. That is the Chanel oil can, jerry can bag. Can we appreciate this bag? I've always wanted a collector's bag. I wasn't huge on the, the, um, the perfume bottles or like the the milk bottle things that they did. I love the robot, I think the robot's cool, but this is something which is meaningful to me because it's from the country I live in, this beautiful city. And I'm so grateful to be attending this year. I don't know how many times I'm say I'm grateful, but like, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I did want to wear like a full Chanel outfit, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna overdo it. So I'm literally just wearing, I'm wearing Petite and Chanel. Yeah, that's it, <laughs> Petite and Chanel. I've never been to a Chanel show, so I just genuinely didn't know. I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to wear. I was like, do I wear current season or do I wear something which is like iconic? Or should I just go super low key and just put anything on? So I ended up putting anything on. But at least you have like an iconic bag. I feel like that's like the showstopper anyways. I don't think I'll be able to film on my camera. In fact, no, I can't take my camera and it doesn't fit in this bag. Neither does my phone. So I'm probably just gonna film on my phone and just, you know, hold it. So the next few snaps will be iPhone videos. But if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. Let's go back. Who's been with me since we left? Guys, John Legend. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, long winter. Guys, the Chanel show is over, and I'm literally just leaving the Chanel after party. I'm so tired. I just want to go home and sleep but it was an amazing event. I stayed for the John Legend performance. I didn't think I was gonna stay, but I'm so glad I did. Only because my friend was like, by the way, John Legend was sitting next to me. So I think he's performing. Someone else was saying this, someone else was sitting next to Penelope Cruz and I was like, okay. But yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's time for me to go to bed. 
Okay, so I was not gonna stay for the after party, but basically after the show, everyone was heading to the after party room. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Let me just walk out there. My friend was like, I was sitting across from John Legend or next to John Legend, I didn't understand. It was too loud. And I was like, okay. And she's like, I think he's performing. And I was like, if he's performing, I'm not leaving until he finishes. He came on in about 9, 9.30, no, 9.20, 9.20. And wow, he sang about five songs, left, he did all of me and ordinary people. He ended with all of me and I was sobbing internally. I don't physically cry. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'm ready to go home now once he left because wow that was emotional magical fantastic I I'm just I don't know whether it was John Legend or the Chanel no you know what all of it together I'm just overwhelmed with emotion it was amazing I am overwhelmed with emotion first of all being invited to a Chanel show for the first time is just an insane feeling like you literally could have sat me in a trash can and I would have just been so grateful to be there. I don't care. I do not care. And I realized, actually, I was speaking to my friends who were also next to me. They were like, it doesn't matter how much you spend. The front row was re reserved for people, like, a different kind of person. It's weird. The front row was weird. I did not understand the front row because my friend was sitting in the same row as me and she's like i know you spend more at chanel because i don't spend at chanel and i was like what so yeah weird scenario regardless wow thank you chanel i'm i'm just beyond grateful i got to come to your show and i got to see john legend perform live for free there was an open bar as well fantastic night 10 out of 10 could i stay longer but ready for bed I'm not gonna lie it was an amazing event I um I'm just overwhelmed I'm just <laughs> overwhelmed summarizes I was watching the show and I was like oh my god I'm watching a Chanel show like it did not hit me like I don't think you guys understand but for me it has been my dream to watch a Chanel show ever since I was a little uh, little, little ever since I was a little girl the only thing I've ever wanted is to watch a Chanel show and I got that today and I feel so blessed I'm so grateful overwhelmed <laughs> I need to learn more adjectives but yeah wow that was just a magical experience and I was watching it and I was like do I take my phone out do I film everyone had their phones out and I was like no I need to really be in this moment and appreciate the fact that I am at a Chanel show watching real life models a lot of them were flown over from Paris you could tell the ones from Dubai there were a few from Dubai and it was just phenomenal honestly all in all a phenomenal night and i'm i was just blown away like i was sitting in the moment i was like no my soul left my body it was like <laughs> guys i can't explain it was like an outer body experience i was like no this is not me yet this this am i here no is this really happening wow hey guys it is two days since the chanel show yesterday there was a chanel style talk based on the collection and i didn't make it to that but today is the collection preview and it's also the day i can pick up pieces i pre-ordered i believe from this collection this collection that was shown was the cruise 22 collection which was shown previously in paris but they just kind of brought it here to do like a re-showing i don't know what the purpose was but regardless it was just a great idea because they showed the collection and it felt like I could just instantly buy the collection the next day. In fact, I'd already bought the collection, but like I got to see it live and it made me feel like I was at, well, I was at a Chanel show, but it made me feel like I was in Paris and watching the show. I mean, obviously the setup compared to Paris was completely different, but nonetheless, amazing. So today I'm wearing a full Chanel look. I'm wearing the little black dress, my new cashmere cardigan and wait till you see the boots. I'm wearing these boots after so long. I thought it would just be a cute 
look to wear because this current collection the cruise collection is going down a more grungy kind of side i mean virginia is trying but i was saying this i just really miss carl like i just miss his creative input into everything i don't think there will ever be another carl which is very sad but she's trying you know i would definitely like to see something more exciting happening with the bags not just classic flaps with like different designs on them or like an added handle let's head to the show actually first we're gonna head to the mall so i literally just popped into the mall and i got um the one ready to wear piece i wanted i was tossing up between one ready to wear piece and two bags which i had seen which i didn't actually see on the runway however i narrowed it down to two bags after seeing the price of the second bag i was like there is no way i'm paying fifty-four thousand dirhams for this one particular bag it's beautiful it was a very beautiful bag it was one of those bags which i know will probably appreciate on the resellers market and just appreciate a lot in general because it is a beautiful bag but it wasn't justifiable for me the other bag again a very lovely bag but i really wanted to actually just wear the piece that i got today to the event is that bad should i just wear it like i got it for this event to like preview the collection which i've already kind of just done in store oh well i'm still gonna wear i actually yeah so here's the dress and here's the dress i'm gonna try it on now and see how it looks um just jump in the back i didn't even try this on in the in the shop guys like i was like i'll just take it um there was actually a really big queue in the store and there was like lots of people trying on different things so i didn't want to waste any time just wanted to get in get what i wanted get out unfortunately she got me the extra small size we're just gonna do that i didn't actually know it comes with the t-shirt which i'm actually so happy about <laughs> so of course you guys know i went for the Chanel dress with, you know, it's not attached. Oh, it is attached, but it can be detached. Is this a risky thing to do, trying it on and wearing it? Or what if it looks awful? Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know if I need to belt it or not belt it. I'm, I'm wearing my boots still. I, I can't tell if this is a good idea. I'm now wishing I had put on fishnet stockings for this because that's how it was styled. Oh, this feels so good being able to wear something the day after seeing it. I like this idea concept. Okay, let's uh, head to the show. Okay, so we're at the Chanel preview. We just had a quick talk, run through the whole collection. Wow, my lipstick's coming off. Such a lovely collection. And I'm obviously wearing my favorite piece from the collection. I had to pick it up before I came, but there are a lot more pieces from this collection that I do love. Now that I've seen it up close, I'm like, okay, accessories, yes, I need to invest more in those. The price of the bags have gone up substantially, which is a bit upsetting, but at the end of the day, Chanel, appreciates anyways because their prices go up so regardless the prices go up okay this piece is next on my wish list this is the black version of the bag i saw in store i saw the white version i think i want the white i know it's stunning how cute are these pieces this one has a little lipstick and then this one has a book with um, a, a lion. I think Chanel, because Chanel was a Leo. And that choker, wow. Okay, I want that. And I want maybe the little bag, but the garter, wow. Yeah. <laughs> 